Thank you to all of you who are participating. CGI, you are doing the Lord's work. Uh, and I can assure you that you will continue to have uh, a partner in the Obama administration for what I expect to be years to come. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have now a couple of commitments to announce, and we'll get on with the program. First, I'd like to invite to the stage Her Royal Highness Princess Gita Talal of Jordan. She is um, the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the King Hussein Cancer Foundation. And uh, she has an announcement to make and partners to introduce. And then I'd like to say a little word in support of what she is doing in memory of her father, who was one of the greatest people I ever knew. Thank you, Mr. President. I would now like to invite to the stage Magda Iskander of Care With Love, Russell Deo of Johnson & Johnson, Dr. John Noseworthy of the Mayo Clinic, Dr. John Seffrin of the American Cancer Society, Dr. Regina Benjamin, the Surgeon General of the United States, Egboji Agimukwebe. These are the challenges we are facing. Cancer, heart disease, lung diseases, diabetes. Spoken indiv individually, each one of those words is enough to send instant shivers down our spines and wreak havoc into our lives. Together, they claim the lives of 36 million people annually all over the world. Hiding under the seemingly innocuous name of non-communicable diseases, these four plagues, formerly close companions of the developed world, have chosen to migrate in full force to a highly vulnerable developing world, a world that is totally ill-equipped to deal with NCDs. We need to start the fight against the scourge of NCDs right now. We do not have a minute to waste. Too much time has already been lost. Too many lives, too many people have died. Too many families have been destroyed. Too many communities have been decimated. The good news is that NCDs share common risk factors that can be prevented. One sure way to strike a blow at NCDs is to eliminate the most lethal risk factor, which is tobacco use. It is estimated that tobacco use will kill one billion people this century. I'm thrilled to recognize six remarkable individuals who will be translating their pledges into effective actions, which is what the Clinton Global Initiative is all about. Through CGI, a group of public and private sector partners commit to launch the Global Smoke-Free Worksite Challenge by pledging to make their workplaces around the world completely smoke-free. This program will institute aggressive anti-tobacco policies 
in regions where smoking is dangerously on the rise and of course has the potential to make workplaces healthier for millions of employees. The second commitment successfully fights non-communicable diseases literally with love and tenderness. Care with love will establish a home and health center in Cairo, Egypt, where rural children with cancer and their families can live while they are in the city undergoing treatment. During, the, the, during their stay, these families will be given nutritious meals, medication, and health education necessary to combat their disease. Your work is commendable, and we hope that thousands around the world will emulate you. I will now present you with the certificates.